to another Cooking with Kylie. So today we're going to be making blueberry coconut dump cake. So let's get started. You're gonna need yellow cake mix and I'm gonna be using Betty Crocker cake mix today. Next you're going to need a half a cup of shredded coconut, one stick of cold butter sliced, one can of blueberry pie filling. You can use any pie filling that you'd like, but today we're gonna to be using blueberry. And then my cake mix. And first you're gonna to want to cover your pan in butter. And let's get started. So I'm gonna first start off by putting my canned blueberry filling into my pan. So let's do that. Trying to get all of it out. Mm. It smells so good. Okay, so now we're gonna add in our other our other bowl. And let me know in the comments if you guys have any suggestions of what I should do for a new cooking with Kylie. So now I'm just gonna smear it in the pan on the bottom. All the way around. And make sure you have a flat surface with it. And I just want to let you guys know we're also going to be doing other dump cake on Cooking with Kylie. So now I'm going to add in my coconut. So I'm sort of just going to sprinkle this on. I'm just going to take out my spatula though. Put it. There we go. So now just sprinkle your coconut above and try to cover all the blueberry filling if you can. So this is what it looks like right now. Put that there. So this is how it looks so far. And now I'm just gonna finish off this. So now I'm gonna put in my yellow cake mix. Sorry if that sound was loud. There we go. Try to evenly spread out your cake mix. I'm gonna grab a spatula to clean, to smear all my cake mix and I'll be back. So I'm gonna smear out my cake mix on top. Smells so good. Almost done. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take your cold butter and you're going to just place it on top in rows. Okay. Now it's done with that. Okay. About half actually. And let me know in the comments if you like cooking. Because I'd like to know. I love cooking. Okay. Put in my butter. And now what you're going to do is you're going to bake 350 degrees for 45 to an hour. And I'll see you when it's done. Okay, so it's been 45 minutes and let's dig in. Just wanted to let you know you can eat it straight away or you can let it cool for a little bit. Wait a 
Stay in.